Now the first step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you're using Windows security, go to privacy security in Windows settings, go to Windows security, virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, click on manage ransomware protection. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow, add an allowed app, browse all apps. Go to the game installation folder wherever the game is installed and then select the game exe file. Click on open. And if you have the game on from the website, then I think, yeah, go to the game installation folder, select the game exe file. Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel, system and security, Windows Defender Firewall. Allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Change settings. Allow another app. Click on Browse. Again, go to the Game Installation folder. Select the Game EXE file. And then click on Open. And then click on Add. In my case, it is already added. Now, if you have any third-party antivirus program, like if you have uh, Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, McAfee, whichever antivirus program you have, allow the Game EXE file or the complete game folder to the exclusion list. Now close third-party application like if you have Riot Vanguard or any other anti-cheat program running, close all third-party application. ESET internet security users are facing a lot of problems. So make sure that you add the complete game folder and the game exe file to the exclusion list. So you might find these options in your ESET internet security software. So you can go to these location and then you can exclude the game folder from scanning and add the game folder and the game exe file to exclusion list and then you can check next step is to disconnect and reconnect wi-fi now simply disconnect and reconnect it and then you can check still not working the next step is to if you're using wi-fi switch to ethernet connection so if you're using wi-fi uh, if you if your computer has a ethernet port and if you have a ethernet cable you can switch to wired connection and then check now, if you're already using Ethernet, in that case, you can turn on the Wi-Fi and you can connect to Wi-Fi and then you can check. Switch to different network. Network. If you have any other network available, uh, then in that case, you can switch to different network and then you can check. And you can even use mobile hotspot. So turn on the data on the phone. Turn on the hotspot on your phone and then you can connect to your phone network. You will see your phone network over here. Uh, you can connect to your phone network and then check. Next step is to turn off or turn on VPN. So if you're if you're using VPN, turn it off, close it, close the VPN and then relaunch the game. If you have a VPN, you can even turn it on and then check. So try both on and off and close VPN and then check. Next step is to perform power cycle. For this shutdown your computer, unplug the power cable from the computer. Turn off Wi-Fi router, wait for a few seconds, restart your Wi-Fi router and then connect the power cable back to the computer and then restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Next step is to try Google DNS server. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box, click on control panel, network and internet, network and sharing center, click on your internet, go to properties. Over here, select Internet Protocol version 4 TCP IPv4. Select properties. Use the following DNS server addresses. Type in 8888 and then for alternate, type in 8844. Then validate settings upon exit. Click on OK. Close this. Now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still you're facing the problem. You can even try this in the uh, for DNS, you can change the server to this. Now for this, you can again click on properties over here. Select internet protocol version 4 TCP IPv4, go to properties. And this time uh, you can put a check on use following DNS server. And then this time type in one, 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 one. And then type in one, zero, zero, one. Validate settings upon exit, click on OK. Close this. Now you can relaunch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. Uh, you can go to properties once again. And this time you can put a, uncheck the box which says Internet Protocol version 6 IC, TCP IPv6. If this is checked, you can uncheck this box, click on OK. And then you can launch the game and then check. Now it's still not working. In that case, uh, once you are done playing the game, if it is working fine, and once you're done playing the game, you can put the 
put the check on internet protocol version 6 once again and then still not working then follow the next step now still not working if you are already using manual dns servers you can select internet protocol version 4 tcp ip go to properties put a check on obtain dns server address automatic go to default click on ok close this relaunch the game and then check still not working the next step is to run the game as an administrator now i think the game is already running as an administrator you, you can if you are using steam you can exit steam and then you can launch steam as an administrator and then you can launch the game or you can go to the game exe file browse local files over here open engine binaries win 64 select the game exe file make a right click, click on run as administrator and then check still not working run these command these commands are provided in the video description type in cmd in windows search box make a right click on command prompt app make sure that you open command prompt as an administrator only and then click on yes to allow copy all these commands one by one and then paste it over here hit the end key all the commands are provided in the video description now once you run all the commands close this and then restart again here and after the system restart you can check still not working the next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is correct in your computer so at the bottom right here you can see the date and time make a right click on date and time click on adjust date and time and make sure set time zone automatically if this is off turn it on set time automatically if this is off you can turn it on make sure both are on and then click on sync now sync now is important if you receive any error in red color click on sync now multiple times once you are sick uh, tick over here that means it's done now go to time and language language and reason and make sure your country is selected over here the last step the next step is to verify and repair the game files now for this you can go to steam make a in the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game the last step is to update windows to the latest version for this you can open windows settings go to windows update or update in security click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here then restart your computer after the system restart you can launch the game so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the connectivity issue the connection error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel